Hello, so first of all, let me thank you for your interest in this work. So today I'm going to talk about systems with both constant and time varying delays, a switch of systems approach and application to observer control of design. So this is joint work with Mathieu de la Rosa and Rafael Yangas from the Université Catholique de Louvain, and with Fred Guzbo and Sophie Tabouriage from Las Toulouse uh, in France. So first of all, uh, let me give you a little motivation about time delay systems. So Time delays are appear in many physical real uh, world processes. So for example, in the chemical industry, it's very common because rea uh, chemical reactions take a lot of time to happen. Um, usually in thermal processes, like if you want to heat up or cool down uh, a greenhouse or an incubator of some sort, um, you're probably going to have uh, delays. Also, uh, delay also appears a lot due to communication uh, delay. So if you uh, have a network and you need to transmit data, so probably that's going to be delayed there as well. So compared to normal, let's say normal linear time variant systems without delay, the presence of delay can degrade uh, the performance of, of the system, can introduce uh, uh, problems that uh, lead uh, to instability of the system if they are not, uh, if, they if the delay is not taken into account uh, previously by the, the control design. Uh, so mathematically speaking, they can appear in this state or like, for example, due to the dynamics of the system, they can appear in the input due to, for example, actuator dynamics, or they can appear in the, out in the output, for example, due to uh, measurement delays, uh, due to sensor dynamics, for example, or due to uh, network transmission of, the, of these measurements. And in this work, we are going to study this specific plant, which is uh, a linear, you, you see in the state equation as a linear equation. And in the output, uh, we have the measurement of the states, but delayed by a, a delay, which is time varying. This delay D of K is lower bounded by some D small M and upper bounded by some D big M. And that represents, for example, the process of uh, transmitting uh, the measurements through a network, where once, for example, if you send up uh, uh, information, a, pa a package of information in the network, uh, it, it, it's possible that not only uh, this package is going to be arriving um, with delay, but also that it's going to arrive uh, later than a package that you you had uh, sent before the first package. So you see, this is the, the thing about uh, time varying delays. It's um, kind of a modeling of a, of a network where this weird uh, phenomena uh, can happen. So we want to study the is robust stabilization of the system uh, uh, with respect to, to this time varying delays. We want to know and we want to try to stabilize the system for uh, delays, time varying delays that can be um, as large uh, as possible. We want to maximize basically uh, the difference between the small M and the uh, big M. And to do that, we are going to try to use a Lewenberg type of observer, which is giving this uh, slide in this blue box. So basically here, this strategy is that we have an OB server, uh, XP hat uh, is, the, the, is the estimated state. So since we don't have a, the, a direct measurement of the, of the state, because our measurements is corrupted by the, by the delay, we try to use this OB server to estimate the non-delayed uh, state uh, X hat, and then to, we uh, use a state feedback control strategy where we have this gain, gain K, that multiplies the x hat. So we try to stabilize the system using this strategy. And we have these gains L and F, which are correction uh, gains uh, that multiply an error, which is exactly the error between the measurement and uh, the delayed uh, estimation of, uh, uh, of the state. So as we don't have, uh, we, we don't have any knowledge in this setting about the real value of the, of the k at each, each instant of time, we need to provide a guess of this delay, uh, which is the constant delay dn in this setting. And it's a parameter that also has to be chosen by the, by the designer. So uh, this is the setup we have uh, by, by considering the state of the system and the error dynamics, uh, we, can set, we can write an augmented system represent the, the, the closed loop, where we have this um, equivalent system star uh, that contains both a constant delay and a time-varying delay. So the constant delay then comes from the choice of the designer 
in the observer-based strategy, and in K, uh, it appears due to the um, to the transmission uh, delay in in the plant. So here we have the matrices A, A N, and A D that depends both on the plant state uh, plant matrices, sorry, and in the against K, F, and L uh, of the control control strategy. And the, the goal is to find these gains to maximize uh, uh, the bounds on, on the delay for which the the system can can be stable. So this was uh, an introduction of the problem. So uh, next I'm going to uh, make some review of the switched approach for analyzing time delay systems. Show a, bit, a little bit the, uh, that relation between systems with time varying delays uh, and switched systems. Uh, next I'm going to talk a little bit about our strategy here in this work for the stabilization of, uh, of our uh, time delayed system, which employs a path complete approach. Um, Next, I'm going to give a brief numerical example of the result, and then I'm going to draw some conclusions and talk about future uh, future work. Uh, so basically, we already know, it's well known that uh, um, time varying delay systems, systems with time varying delays, can be equivalently uh, rated as a, as a delay-free system, which is switched. Uh, and this uh, in this setting, the, the switching, switching signal uh, depends on exactly on the value of the delay at, uh, at each instant of time. So to, uh, to obtain this uh, representation, you just have to uh, write uh, the state as an augmented state uh, that takes not only x of k, but also the past values of x. And then you have this huge matrix B of j uh, here in this slide uh, that depends on I, A, A, D, and the identities. And as the, the delay varies, so as the switching signal varies, you have this matrix AD that uh, moves around. So you come up with a, a equivalent uh, switched linear system representation. This is a very nice representation because uh, <coughs> it allows you to, uh, to have, a, let's say, simpler uh, conditions, uh, which are very general for the stability analysis of this kind of system. So it was studied in, uh, in this paper by uh, et al. and Afu and Yang uh, here in this slide. Uh, however, one drawback uh, of this approach is uh, exactly the high dimensionality that that it leads to, uh, because you have these huge uh, equivalent matrices with, with the non-delayed representation. The, these matrices are very sparse, uh, and especially I would say that in the case uh, of st uh, stabilization, when these matrices A and AD they depend on some control parameters that you have to design. It can, be, it can be especially complicated to, to use this representation with view with a view of uh, finding uh, nice uh, matrix inequalities for, for control design. So another approach for um, studying time delay systems in a switch and signal set, uh, switch and system setting is the so-called delay partitioning approach. So in this case, you don't rewrite the system as a, an augmented system without delay. You, you still uh, um, respect, let's say, the the delay nature of the system. You keep a delay representation. However, you split uh, uh, the interval of variation of the delay in in many sub intervals, um, and then for each sub interval, you get a switch. Um, you get a, a subsystem in a switched representation. So if your delay, uh, when your delay belongs to uh, first interval, you are in subsystem one. When it belongs to a second interval, you are in subsystem two, and etc. and so on. Uh, so this is a very nice representation. Um, it allows you to <coughs> uh, normally to uh, find uh, the Apollo Krasov functional for each of these subsystems uh, easily, uh, more easily because in this case uh, you have these, um, let's say, uh, uh, smaller uh, variations in all the delay for each subsystem. However, to ensure the, the stability of the overall uh, switched system representation, uh, it's normally uh, used that it, it's normally uh, employed some uh, dwell time assumptions. So uh, normally you say that the delay cannot vary arbitrarily, but it has to vary with some bounds on the, the variation of the delay. So this approach, for example, has been applied in two and three. And our uh, goal here is to employ a switched system representation of our system. However, to neither uh, do delay augmentation, uh, uh, neither uh, have these constraints on, on, 
on the on the on dwell time. So we really want to ensure stability of our system for any time varying uh, delay that is contained uh, in the lower and upper bounds. So here I'm going to present our approach. So we propose that uh, a representation of our regional system as a switched system, giving this system hard. Um, so basically what we did was to, to do delay partitioning. So we say that if our delay is between the lower bound D small n and the constant delay Dn, which was inserted by the designer, we are in this first subsystem. And otherwise, if you, your delay is between uh, Dn and D is big n, you are now in a second subsystem. And this allows you to kind of get rid of the constant delay dn. And now we have a, a delay uh, representation given this, in this equation hard, where each subsystem, each of the two subsystems, only contains the time varying delay and its lower and upper bounds. So, <clears throat> as a comment, uh, this uh, strategy allows you to uh, eliminate the presence of the, of the constant delay dn from the representation. And, and now dn is either a lower bound or an upper bound for each of the subsystems. And with that, one of the advantages is that uh, we, can, we can have um, many results of the literature that can be easily applied to find uh, Lyapunov class of functionals for each of the subsystems. Uh, however, uh, the, we know that the overall stability of the switching system, the, of the switching representation is not trivial. So either uh, we assume that we have a Lyapunov class of functional for each subsystem and that there's some time constraint. So I cannot go from my, my first subsystem to the second subsystem uh, as fast as I want, or I can come up with some uh, some path complete criteria, some uh, graph based representation uh, um, containing my my uh, Lyapunov inequalities in such a way that I can have uh, a guarantee of stability for all time current delay. So that's uh, our goal, particularly in, the, in, in this work. So we, we use a path complete uh, structure giving this equation. So basically we have the two Lyapunov class of functionals, one for each subsystem. And not only we have the inequalities guaranteeing that V1 and V2 are uh, LKFs for each subsystem, but also we have a, co a, com um, a composition between these two uh, functionals that allows you to guarantee a decreasing property uh, of, a, of, a, of energy for the systems and to guarantee uh, that the system is going to be uh, Lyapunov stable for any uh, time varying delay, D of k. So I'm not going through all the details to, to into the manipulation of these uh, inequalities encoded by this graph, but basically uh, in our paper we, we had this uh, main result where we arrived, we were able to write uh, linear matrix inequalities describe the self loops, the, the loops that guarantee that you have a, a Lyapunov class of function for each subsystem, and also for the, the edges of the graph. So we have uh, inequalities that uh, translate, uh, um, uh, we have matrix inequalities that translate uh, the inequalities which are encoded in the edges of our graph, and then we have the guarantee that the system uh, is asymptotically stable for any time varying delay. So no need to, to have assumptions on the dual time as usual, as usual in the literature. Also no need to, to, to de do delay augmentation uh, of the system. Uh, and so as I commented before, we have these uh, graph-based uh, encoded conditions and the conclusion is, okay, so we have LKF1 for, for F1 we have a LKF KF2 for F2, and then for my overall uh, system, time delay system, we have that not, not V1, V1, not V2, but a combination of, of these LKFs given as given by the minimum of V1 and V2 is a Lyapunov Krasov for, for the switched system, and consequently for our original system. So in our paper, we were also able to extend these conditions for solving our uh, stabilization problem. So we had a color array uh, that allowed us to, to have a linear, uh, linear matrix inequalities for designing K, F, and L uh, that guarantee stability for any time varying delay. And we also applied this for to, to a numerical example from, from the literature uh, where we had very good, uh, very nice results. Uh, for example, for, uh, for this system, we had that the previous uh, bound for 
the previous maximum delay for which the system was stabilized before the literal true had be d big m equals seven samples and here we were able to achieve a maximum delay of 17 so uh, we had uh, this uh, maximization on, on the bound of the delay uh, which was um, really uh, uh, do the uh, really an, an improvement over the literature so as conclusion we were able in this paper to to translate a path complete criteria which are uh, these Lyapunov inequalities encoded in, in, in graphs we could uh, translate that uh, for the case of time delay systems where each node in this graph represents a Lyapunov Krasov functional. We could deal with systems with both uh, constant and time varying delays and guarantee stability without any, assumption on, any assumptions on dwell time. And we were also able to make uh, these technical extensions to, to the stabiliz stabilization problem, which actually was the main motivation for, for this work. So as uh, ongoing and future research, we would like to uh, extend the setup of, of um, this path complete uh, uh, criteria for time delay systems for more general graphs. So uh, we know that uh, at least for the case of uh, delay-free systems, uh, we, we know that there exists a, a hierarchy of, uh, of graphs uh, of path in the path-complete approach such that as you increase smartly the number of nodes, uh, the number of Lyapunov functions in your graph, as you increase the complexity of your graph, you get less and less uh, conservative results. And we would like to study that for time delay systems as well, we would like to see if uh, by using more complicated graphs, more elaborate graphs, we can get uh, even better results, less conservative results. So thank you very much for your, your attention and please don't, ex don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions.